Hello again. What you see before your very eyes is a UK, turn it around, a UK four-way mains adapter. Now this uh, works and I'm going to repair it. Yeah, okay, I know that sounds wrong, but let me explain. This was used in the office at work and failed a PAT test. PAT test is a portable appliance test that has to be done on uh, all the electronics in uh, any workplace, any office, any building site, anything like that. Um, if it's not portable like this is, this is this just normally sits underneath a, a, an office desk um, it should only be tested sort of once every one or two years depending on what the policy of the company is and if it gets moved or not now why do i say this works but it fails let me explain first of all before we do anything we're going to be playing about with mains electricity this can kill only attempt anything like this if you know what you're doing unlike me um, who um, <laughs> we'll see what happens right let's plug it in and switch it on okay so mains is now live on this let's get our tester this is just a normal sort of um, plug-in tester that you can buy and as you can see uh, we have two lights here out of three and a little um, printout on the side says two lights that is correct and we're showing 235 volts um, coming through so that's okay that is working okay let's check all the others yep yep and yes so everything's working the fuse is working the sockets are working so why has it failed well it's failed because of that the neon light is not working let me switch it off okay so power's now off so the neon light's not working so that is a pat test fa fail because if this was plugged underneath the desk and um, someone went to grab it or something fell on it or something like that you wouldn't know whether the mains is turned on or not because the light is not working so that is a fail now what you can't do when you're pat testing you can't repair at the same time you either do it as a fail or a pass so we need to have a quick look inside and see why it's failed i shall grab my new draper no expense spared um, this is a kit i bought a couple of days ago from amazon of all places with all these sort of security type of um uh, screw bits in it so i think this is a it's like a triangle type of in fact i think it is called triangle yeah so let's grab that got a little mat uh let's undo this in fact i'll tell you what i've got my um i've got my little battery screwdriver on charge here so let's cheat a little bit right okay so that's got all those undone so let's have a look inside and see what we can find right okay so <coughs> first thing i can see whoo -hoo, Okay, let's um, see if I can zoom in so you can have a look. Can you see that all right? Let me see if I can focus, focus, focus. There we go. That's, come on, just focus. There, focus. There we go. There you, oh, come on. Come on, focus, 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 focus. Right, I think that's going to stick like that now, I hope there you can see that that neon light is blown it's, it's black so that's what we need to change but also while i'm looking here look at this look at this there's bits of wire hanging off this what do they call that in the trade they call that a george michael or a careless whisper so we need to do something with that we need to make that a bit more 
safer because if one of those little wires crossed over that will be bridging the um, mains and the neutral together so we need to sort that out but our main task at the moment is to sort out this neon light here so oh in fact that's just fallen off look <laughs> so that wire has just completely fallen off i'm having a feeling that yes yeah, so there is a in fact i'm, I'm going to take that off Where's me? Because right, I think just sorry, I'm I'm blabbering. I'm checking to see if there's a resistor in here, and it feels like there is. Right, okay, um, so it seems that the resistor must have got really, really hot because the, the shrink, the heat shrink material that's doing the protection of the, of the cable is absolutely welded to that resistor. But there is a resistor in series, so that's, that's okay. Um, so I wonder what this was plugged into that caused not only that resistor to get so hot it's, it's welded itself to the plastic, but also for the neon light to blow as well. So let's chuck all that lot to one side. And in my little storage drawers, I have some neons with an inline resistor already ready to go. So all we have to do is to replace that in there as well. Now that was between the earth and the neutral, wasn't it? Or was it? No, it wasn't. I tell a lie. Ho, 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 ho. It was between the neutral and the live. Of course it was, Michael. Why did you say that in the first place? So we need to put that back into place there and we need to get a bit of heat shrink as well to protect the wires. So let us go to the drawer and get some heat shrink out. Right, we have some heat shrink here, ready to go. But before I do that, I think the best thing we can do, to put that neon to one side, is to see if we can sort out this wiring a bit in here. So if we look at that closely, if you can see that, there is like a crimp on that wire, but it's these loose ones at the top here that are concerning me. So I'm going to grab my, sorry about the flashing, my magnifying glass, and I'm going to just push all those wires onto there the best I can. Right, I'm going to get some flux. Now I'm going to guess this is going to need a lot of heat. So I'm going to turn my soldering iron up to 450. And I've already put on a thick nib on my soldering iron. Because I knew this was going to be um, a big job to solder the neon on, so I thought I'd need the big nib um, because of the, this, this sort of brass um, conduit stuff here. Um, so that's why I put on the big nib. But I didn't realise I'll be actually doing a repair to the wire itself. So the thing is, as soon as you put your soldering iron on this, it's just going to absorb the heat. Um, now I'll. Grab my solder. Just talk amongst yourselves while the solder line warms up. I'm up to 400 now, so very soon it'll be on the 450. So we'll need quite a lot of heat on this, so we've got 450 now. Right, let's see if we can get this these wires sorted out. Oh, 
There we go, I've completely flooded that with solder. Nice bit of heat on that, and that's nicely soldered those up. Still a couple of wires just dangling there, let's see if we can get that in better. There we go. And that gives us a nice pad for the um, neon as well. So let's pop that out of the way for a minute. Let's have a look at this one. So again, this one's got a... Look at this. It's, this has got some wires dangling as well. If they had touched, you know, that would have gone bang. I'm quite amazed at that. Right, I think the same with this. We're going to have to put a load of flux on there. Right, get the solder iron out, get a lot of heat in there. Great, let's got that done. Yep, that's better, that's made a better job of that. Right, I'm just going to leave that for a minute just, just to cool down. Right, hopefully that's cooled off a bit now. Yes, it has. Good. Right, and let's put these back in then. Okay, let's got those back in. Right, next thing that we need to do then is to look at this um, and where's it gone? Here it is. Neon light. You can make a song out of that. I wonder if Kraftwerk ever made a song out of neon lights. Right, okay, let's, uh, let's have a look at this then. So we need to put that on there. We need to solder the end. So let's chop that about there. How does that look? Yep, that looks okay. And will that fit? Over the resistor, or do we need one a bit thicker? No, that's not going to fit over the resistor. So let's try the next one. Ooh, yeah, that fits over that one. Okay, right. Let's let's solder one of these in place. So it's kind of got to go like that, hasn't it? Right. Let's pop a bit of sold on the end of this. Yep, that's got that soldered in place. So we need to make sure that goes in the holder like so. We need to pop our other heat shrink over that. Oops, <laughs> I haven't cut it. Let's um, do that again. So I need to cut it about there. Right, let's put that over there like that. Push that in place. Right, let's get that in the holder. We should have enough to go around to there. Okay, just it just fits in there. Put a bit of solder on the end, and that hopefully will reach around to there. He says, pointing his finger. Um, something to hold it with. There we go, hold it. Is that in place? Yep, that's in place. Wonderful, right. Okay. 
Okay, so that's nicely protected on there. There, that should go around there. Okay. Okay, the moment of truth. I'm not going to switch it on without the cover on. So I'm just going to cover it over. Right, fingers crossed. If you hear a big bang, you'll know I've done it wrong. Right, uh, lights are going off. And you can see the neon light is now on there, look. Lights are coming back on, watch your eyes. That's it, lights are on. So let me unplug that. Oh, I better just double check to make sure that the clip holder's in place, it is. And then we can put the screws back in. So there we go, one repaired, working, four-way mains adapter. And just to be absolutely sure, there we go, we still have the power on there and we still have power through here. So there we go, that's repairing one neon light. Again, you can make a song out of that. I wonder if Kraftwerk could ever made a song called Neon Lights. There we go. I hope you enjoyed that. If you like what I do, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. And if you do like what I do, you can now buy me a coffee. There's a coffee link below. Thanks very much for watching. See you again soon.